Hello friends. So we have started our road trip from Hyderabad to Vizag. The distance is about 650 to 700 kilometers, and it would roughly take around 10 to 12 hours. So there is an upcoming long weekend, uh, which is due to Christmas holiday. So which is why we are planning a small getaway. In this trip, we'll also be sharing our detailed experience, so that it could benefit you when you. Actually, plan your trip for Vizag, and also we'll be visiting Araku Valley. So we'll also be sharing experience for that. Stay tuned till the end. Thank you. So it's been two hours since we started, and this place looks decent enough for a quick stop. We stopped for a quick washroom break at Sri Adya Grand, and we also had light breakfast. Breakfast was good, and the place was also tidy. So now we are continuing our journey. So see you in the next stop. So it's 12 noon right now, and we have reached Vijayawada. Now we have stopped for our lunch, and this place looks pretty good. It has a small park kind of thing as well. If you are coming with kids, and the food was also pretty good. We have reached Vizag, and it's just a kilometer now to our hotel. Traffic condition, honestly, is very bad. Now we are just entering into our hotel, Green Park. Uh, it is all lit up in the Christmas theme right now, and the reception area is looking pretty good. So now we have checked into our hotel room in Green Park, and we took roughly 12 hours to reach here, and in between. So two breaks. One was the quick breakfast break of 15-20 minutes, and then we stopped for lunch break at around 12 in Vijayawada, and there we took 40 to 45 minutes. The highways were pretty good, uh, I would say. Uh, the only downside was the traffic which we got after Vijayawada. That took a lot of time for us. And yeah, the hotel, I am thinking. Uh, I was a bit doubtful about the hotel, but it turned out to be pretty nice as we got a last-minute deal. Uh, all the hotels were uh, booked due to the long weekend of Christmas, as this last 2023 weekend. Yeah, I think we got a pretty neat deal. And now we are heading to RK Beach, which is which is famous for nightlife in Vishakhapatnam. So let's see how RK Beach is. Hi guys, we are at RK Beach right now. The place looks pretty crowded, so let me just show you the night vibe. Personally, to me though, the beach was peaceful and way too beautiful in the morning. The sunrise was majestic. So the next day we visited RK Beach again to see the sunrise and it was really beautiful. Then we came back to our hotel for breakfast. Then we started our day by first visiting the aircraft museum and then the Kursara submarine museum. To us both of them were pretty unique experiences. And then we continued for Kalashgiri Hill and we went there by ropeway and it was a joyful ride. So we have reached Kalashgiri. We came here to Ropeway, and the place is really beautiful. You will see very good panoramic view of Vizag, and the sea over there is very beautiful. And also, there are two statues of Ma Parvati and Lord Shiva, which are over here. You can plan to come here early in the morning. uh because as late as you will get the place will get really crowded and it is a very good place to spend time with your loved ones 
you can come here with your friends family and you can also plan for a picnic like you can see many people over here so yeah this is about kalashgiri now we are heading over to rishikonda beach so see you there hey guys so we have reached rishikonda beach and as expected the beach is pretty crowded but we'll be chilling over there we don't have much people over that side so we'll just go over there and sit for a while in peace so yeah after spending some quality time at toshikonda beach we started heading back to our hotel and along the way we stopped at tenetti park the park looks even more beautiful in the evening and you can spend some quality time at the beach which is just adjacent to the park so today we started from vizag at around 9 am and we are heading towards arku valley the initial 60 70 kilometers are proper highways and then once the ghats start you'll observe some very beautiful landscapes and you you would really enjoy this road trip found a nice parking space near bora caves and after doing zip lining we went straight to the caves and after spending about 1 to 2 hours there came back and tried this delicious bamboo biryani i would recommend you to place an order while going to the bora caves as it usually takes around 30 to 40 minutes to prepare this and this was really delicious guys Then we did some souvenir shopping from the local market and you can see the crowd uh, that was there the day we went it was crazy then we went straight to Kathki waterfalls which is a beautiful waterfall surroundings are also pristine you won't be able to take your vehicle though you'll have to hire a cab and it takes roughly 3 hours for a round trip and towards the end there is a 1 km hike to reach the waterfall So now our trip to Arku Valley is complete and we are returning back to Vizag. So we visited some major sites here like Bora Caves and Kathki Waterfalls. We couldn't get much time to visit all the places. There were few other places which we could have visited, but the traffic condition due to the long weekend is crazy here. So I would suggest you to visit this place maybe uh, during non-rush Uh, season that will be better so my overall experience for this trip was good and i know that it would have been even better if i would have visited in non peak seasons and now i am leaving you guys with a summary of all the places which you can plan to visit so thank you and if you like the video do like share and subscribe